big one. Well so can I just start by saying that uh, I'm very, very proud slash jealous of Architects winning the best album because obviously best album for me is uh, an accolade which suggests that you wrote the best album in 2014 and I think that us three new mixes can safely say that Architects did do that. Oh, so I'm very, 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 very happy that they've done that. Oh, sweetheart. Um, and yeah, we're kicking it back at the frame. Say how we really felt. Yeah. <laughs> what, what I liked actually was throughout the wars, there was a lot of love from a lot of different bands. Everyone was talking about community and rock and blah, blah, blah. And, and it is important because, you know, you go around the world and you play, you know, lots of different festivals at the radio or rock festivals or metal festivals or whatever. And it always comes back to something like this. It's about, you know, all of us going for the same thing. So tonight to see us, Architects, Death of Vanna, British, yeah, Bring the Rise and yeah. British fans being uh, celebrated is really cool. That's so okay. and I'm now going to be quiet for the rest of the evening. No, you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's good. Hey, you're a pro, dude. You're a pro. You're like, you come to me, I'm like, yeah, oh, no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> but you can take two awards as well. We won two. We, we managed to steal two. Best um, British one of Iron Maiden and one of some other band that could have won best single. But that's yeah. fucking awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's a hat trick. Awesome. That's, that's a hat trick. Yeah. Award, so I think, as I was saying to you earlier, I think yeah. Bullet for My Valentine is one of the only other bands that have got the hat trick. So to um, do that again, you know, and it's very humbling feeling, you know, and there's a lot of great British acts coming out right now and to be recognised for what we've done. It's not just us, as we're saying, Architects, Bringing the Horizon. They've got a lot of bands like Lerner, Atlantis, Mallory, Knox. There's a lot of fucking great it's rock cool, music at the moment coming out of the UK, and it's a privilege to be part of it and be part of a close circle that is. We've all known each other for a long time. We've worked hard for it. Yeah. What's funny is we were saying. Sorry to be about to ask yeah. your next question. Was that when we first ever came to Triangle, I looked around the room, and I think it was us and Gallows were the only British bands. Everything was overseas. Everything was celebrating music from America or whatever. Uh, I look around the room tonight and a lot of the winners are predominantly English and I think that's something that needs to be celebrated because likes of Kerrang, Radio 1, Rock Sound, whatever it may be, all these publications supporting our bands is only going to help the future, so fuck yeah. Big up real music. Mm. Big up playing your own instruments and not playing the backing tracks. Big up Arctic Monkeys, that's what it's about. See you later. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate together then? I'm gonna get absolutely I'm gonna kiss, fucked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for all my DTD brotherhood that are out there. And uh, just, I can't believe this has happened after we've released six albums, and the sixth one has won best album. So, uh, is it your favorite album? Oh yeah, I just, I, I mean, I would release a hundred more to have this feeling again. It's, it really is like something that we work very hard for and uh, we're, we're flying back out to France tomorrow. We, we flew in from France this morning, we fly back out and we're doing like a, like a little mini run out there and we just love being on tour and we're just so grateful to be, I'm so grateful to not do the night shift at Sainsbury's anymore. <laughs> yes. What and time's I, your flight though? My flight's at 5 o'clock in the morning. Our flight's at 7am. We're, we're, we're about to pitch, we're about to pitch real hard. We're players man, we're going yeah. hard. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm very proud of this award and uh, I'm also very proud of, of, of the Unit 6 because we've known them for so long and we, we met them when they were doing their first record because um, they recorded at Outhouse Studios in Reading where we did like a bunch of our albums and uh, we hit it off straight away. I remember talking about Dinger Escape Plan with Max straight off and they're here tonight winning like the fucking amazing award that they deserve. And uh, yeah, these two actually fucking sing on the end of one of the songs on uh, Hollow Ground. So. It's nice to actually be in a room and to be able to set Yeah, my and voice what, was too deep. <laughs> I didn't make the grade. What's amazing is, is what these guys say is there really is this like sense of community. Whereas like we wherever wherever our bands are around the world, we've all got eyes on each other and we're all proud of each other for what they do. You know, like bands like Berry Tomorrow Tonight got another another yeah. mention and you know they didn't win their award, but they're doing a lot of hard touring and. But for us, it's cool. We see Def Havana touring. We see these guys touring, and we just fucking. You know, I see Josh on Twitter as he is right now. Yeah. I'm actually, I am actually writing something about this current conversation. <laughs> but it's just we're just, we're just, we're all very proud of each other. And as Josh said earlier on, like British me like music, metal, whatever is alive. And uh, as he said, this year there's been a lot more bands here, and this is our first time being at Grand Awards, and we've won best album, so yeah. that's pretty good. So God, next year we'll probably win about six. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's amazing to have you all here and go party and celebrate. I'm going to go lose my mind. We've been unleashed. Nice. <laughs>